We're gonna do the, the we're gonna click the your click you click the thing. Yeah. All right. Welcome to the poor Saturday night. Luke is currently reading a apparently a Neil deGrasse Tyson book. What you reading, Luke? Uh, Astrophysics for People in a Hurry by Neil deGrasse Tyson. Greatest book ever written? No. Okay. Greatest book ever written was Principia, but I digress. Welcome to the poor. Welcome to the poor indeed. How Seriously? you doing, buddy? I'm good. I'm good. Um, what are you drinking? I am drinking. Uh, I'm drinking something good. Uh, I am drinking yeah. a beer tonight. Enough about um, you. What about me? What no, are you? No. What, what, what beer are you drinking? I'm, I'm only going to flash it on screen for just a second for Luke so that he can see, and then I'm putting it back. Oh, yeah. Tonight I'm drinking. Tonight I'm drinking Texas Bach from Elbeck Brews in. Uh, I don't want to drink what I have. I want to drink in what northern you have. in northern Alberta. Having a little uh, a little Lone Star State style amber lager. What do you got going on? I am drinking masala chai mead. Okay, so I love the fact that it's mead. It's, I'm not entirely sure about masala chai, me, me but neither. it could be um, it could be from, really good. It's from Trafalgar Ales and Meads. Um, yeah. So Ontario, it's from Oakville. Okay, because you said uh, so, Trafalgar, and I'm like, oh, really? And then, wait, that's a place, like a square. So, number one, number one rule. Uh, invert and swirly, much like in grade seven. Ready to go? Uh, I'm ready to go. You were frozen, so let's rock this pig. Actual glassware... I love that. Of course, I switch to you in the one shot and you freeze up. There we go. You're moving too much. That's the problem. Yes, all of these liquids. All right. So my totally not mead clear glass. So is this a mead or a braggot? It's a braggot. It's a braggot. So it has a barley backbone somewhere Ooh. in there. It smells delicious. Oh, I'm sure it probably is. It's it's a non-traditional mead for sure. Um, the spice, um, honey's there. Wow, <sighs> that's interesting. I'm gonna go with it's not at all beer-like, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's not, not at all beer like. No, uh, there are. It's another form of alcoholic beverage. <laughs> I can tell that this and beer are distant cousins. Um, you, you surprisingly enough, like I can taste, I can taste the barley. Well, if I mean, if I it is indeed, the grain. if it is indeed a true braggot, then it's got barley in it. It's got a, a work base, a mashed beer base. And then the honey is just a much higher percentage than it would be in a honey lager or something. The like honey's that. subtle. Um, it's a um, like a tart finish. It's spicy. It's honey. It's basic. It's like there's nothing crazy happening on. You get a little bit of like I get the masala. Um, I don't get any chai, but I wouldn't know what chai tasted like if you hit me in the face with a bag of it. Cinnamon, clove. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's yeah. that there. Yeah. That's the spices that I was referring to. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. it's really good. Cool. I would I would buy this again. Like you said, it's, I mean, that's very why, often yeah, braggots, braggot. even braggots uh, that are like a 50-50, you know, beer slash honey mixture um, are not like beers, but they're like beers. But, you, like you said, you can tell they're kissing cousins. Um, there's yeah, a lot of similarities in like the, how beers, they're produced. They're not unlike beers. Yeah, but in, in the same way that yeah. they're not like a wine. Yeah, oh, it's certainly more beer than it is wine. Right. So, uh, cool. So I'm going to let you dwell on that for a moment while I bring up the yeah. Texas box. So uh, last week on the show, I had uh, the Nut and Honey Porter from Elbeck. Uh, this week, we're going to do the Texas Bach. Now, the Texas Bach 
um, that that nut and honey has actually received some accolades in Alberta, and and as I said, uh, like to me it was um, it was it was a good beer. It was a great beer. It just it, it didn't hit me the way I like my porters to be. Um, this is an amber. I'm not an amber lager drinker. However, I have a lot of respect for a good amber lager. So we're gonna hit this Texas Bach, um, which I'm actually quite excited to try. Um, and uh, get it in a, in a not quite beer clean glass. I'm sorry, but you know I can't teach Ton Shoveler to do everything. Um, it is definitely an amber. It's got a little haziness to it. It's not heading up much. I mean, I'm trying to give it some. It's just not heading up the way I'd like it to. Sort of big and open. You know, half a finger, maybe a finger worth, whatever. Um, little sweet on the nose certainly carbonated like there's bubbles going on uh let's see i, I mean i'm gonna be there's not a lot of hop to think just to, to note really it's it's, it's um, not so much amber as it's it's half it's, it's halfway to a brown yeah like this is i mean it's yeah. un unfiltered this was made with norseman brewing in in Camrose. Um, you know, and I'm expecting an easy drinking beer. This is not going to be a hit you in the face. This is, a, you know, a really simple, it's heavy on the corn as an adjunct because it's a, mm -hmm. an American lager style or a Bach, a Bach lager, um, which is a, a malty toasted malt kind of lager from Germany um, that was brought into the U.S. And in the U.S. it was brewed with corn as an adjunct, obviously. Um, hence why it's a Texas Bach and not a German Bach or a Maybach or whatever, whatever right? Uh, Maybach is a car. Yeah, and Maybach is also a beer. Uh, all right, whatever. Cheers. The head's gone. I'm drinking this sucker. Cheers, man. I need five more bottles of this. I know a guy. I need five more bottles. Get the beer bong. This is, dude, this is everything. Uh, excuse me. This is everything you want out of an afternoon beer in the summertime. I'm sorry that it's now November. Um, or, or in the fall when you're sitting in the rocker on the on the porch, watching the leaves fall from the tree. Oh, no, dude, that's oatmeal stout time. Dude, this is really really good. Uh, the there's lots of tell malt, Elbeck to give me a couple bottles. Lots of <laughs> he didn't give me any bottles, so I don't think we're gonna ship you any. I'm just saying, I can I get money. more for the next time you come out. But, um. So in terms of as a Bach, it, it's got a much lighter body with that corn than a tr traditional Bach. Um, it doesn't corn me have as much of that toasted barley malt character that a Bach has, but it's there, and it's and it's got um, enough hops to keep the back end from getting sweet, even though the body. Um, which is not really thin. It's actually got some body to stand up to. Um, I'm. I think it's. Um, I think it's a, a fantastic bloody beer. Uh, I'm really, really happy with that beer. Uh, Bruce, kick ass, man. Uh, Elbeck, uh, Elbeckbrews.ca is where you can find Elbeck. Um, it's available <laughs> through Liquor Connect in Alberta, uh, which means you can probably find it in Ontario sometime, someday, somehow. Uh, but yeah, Elbeck, damn, good job, man. This is, uh, I'm going to buy some more of this and keep it in the fridge. Um, if it'll last until the end of winter, I'll probably get a half dozen of these bombers, but, uh, damn fine beer, man. Hmm. I'm just, I'm just pulling up on tap. Yeah, I'm going to do yeah. that after the fact. But... My, my review is right on par with what the people say. All right. So, um, Luke, what is your uh, what is your rating, man? Well, first of all, I would put my rating at 
untapped.com backslash user oh, 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 backslash you're... Mr. Wilkinson. Well, that's... And Greg would have his at untapped.com slash user slash G scratch. Feel free to, ta- to to trust Untapped with your beer ratings. Um, we have they won't for... sell your beer ratings to a third party <laughs> well, that we're aware of, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah, for uh, quite some time, actually, I've been using Untapped. I was I, I have been um, uh, what do they call their uh, <clears throat> their their premium supporters or whatever. Um, it's actually a really neat feature to be able to track the beers that you've tried, that you've enjoyed, and uh, and see how a they stack up against others. And it also helps you learn how to um, how to adjust your own grading and scoring by being able to see how others have rated it in the comments that they leave. Um, I've got my rating. I know what it is. Uh, you feel free to tell me yours at any time. But I'm um, three. Three? It's a three. It's a three. Okay. All right. Um, This is, uh, so for the Texas Bach from Elbeck Brews, um, yes, I said I'm going to buy five more bottles. That doesn't mean it's a five. Uh, No. It means that it's super drinkable and I have no problem smashing a few. Um, And, you know, a Kentucky Bastard that is a five, I'm not going to put six bottles in the fridge. Because I if I drink them, I if I drink them, it'll be 17 weeks before I can drive a car again. <laughs> um, this is a beer that you could drink every day and not get tired of it. Uh, I gave it a 3.5. Cool, man. It's nice to have some middle of the road. Middle of the road does not mean bad. Middle of the road no, means of the road is good. a great everyday drinking beer. Like, like you said, dude, like the middle of the road beer... That's the stuff that you drink all the time. That's right. Right? That's, that's like, absolutely true. Absolutely Texas true. Texas Buck. People skills. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yep. Lenoir, or whatever, however the hell you say it from Belson. <laughs> Lenoir. Like their, Lenoir. The like Black. The yeah. baseline yeah. beers yeah. that you can just... They're good. They're good. They're good. You know what? Like, if you could get Bud Light fresh, it wouldn't be bad. Yeah, it would. But, it'd, but st- it'd still be like a one seven five. So yeah, pretty a much th- a three that is ubiquitous, inexpensive. Man, that's what people drink. No, that's nobody's out, nobody's out there drinking fives all day. It's true. That is true. That's true. So, a three on the... Over the three for wow. me? Three for, for the, you, three and a half um, for me. Masala, for the Masala Chai Mead, uh, Mead Braggot from Trafalgar Brewing in Oakville, Ontario. I'm super excited to say a three and a half for Texas Bach from Elbeck Brews here in Edmonton, Alberta. Um, I can genuinely say I don't think we've had two beers more completely and diametrically opposed in nature to these two on the pour. But um, but that's awesome because they're they're both within half a point of each other. There you go. Cheers! It's been the pour. Cool. Thanks for watching. Thanks for pouring with me. Dude. If you if you, if you're inclined, do us a favor. Hit that subscribe button down there. If you like the and episode the or you like any of the other episodes, give us a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so that we can tell you when new episodes are coming. Cheers! I'm Greg. That's Luke over there. It's been the pour. Patreon's awesome. We love money.